At 33 years old, he uses all his nows, Jason Roberts, and he gets his reward. As Jay Tab is it does really well there, feeds the ball out wide. But watch Roberts, faints like he's going to go near, goes in behind Koscielny, and he's left in front of goal. It's a wonderful cross, but it's wonderful movement that gets Jason Roberts his opportunity, and he is not going to miss from there. It's an emphatic finish, and Reading have got the lead that Brian McDermott well, he would have been craving against his old club. Didn't he enjoy it? The first time that Brian McDermott has faced his old club, the third time that Jason Roberts has scored against Arsenal. To the box, it's good, it's tight there, isn't it? But McCleary does well, Gunter finds space, and Koscielny, well, he's beyond the near post. He has to try and intercept it, and the only kind of contact that he can get that will send that ball in the net, he somehow manages to get. And that's really unfortunate for Damian Martinez in the goal, but I'm sure. Brian McDermott doesn't care. Well, Brian McDermott, who was a, a winger at Arsenal in the late 70s. Three up inside 20 minutes. Mikel Ledgerwood scores for the second game in a row. Martinez finding a shot too hot to handle. And despair for Arsene Wenger, whose team are being ripped to shreds. Well, they are. This is an absolute disaster for the young goalkeeper comes from a corner and it very much looks as if they've got that clear but uh, it's sloppy Shamak that gives the ball away Legit Wood does really really well here but that should not be fine in the back of the net you can see by the angle that the ball goes in Martinez gets it all wrong he's trying to palm it away to his left and somehow the ball squirms into his right and this is not something that he will want to see in the future, it's a horrible mistake from the young goalkeeper. Well, that's the risk you take when you... Annihilated here! Well, Arsene Wenger's not happy, he's with the fourth official, he just feels like there should have been a foul given Arsenal's way in the lead-up to that goal. Shamak was the player in the middle of all that. He lost the previous challenge. But that there, maybe a little bit of a nudge in the back on Shamak, not given. And look what happens. Again, Reading work the ball wide, and this is where they've been absolutely lethal. Noel Hunt, a player that I'm sure Arsenal don't probably know too much about, but if they do their homework, what they will know about Noel Hunt is just how very, very good in the air he is. One of the best headers of a ball that I've seen for a few years, and that is a wonderful header. An absolute wonderful header, but Arsene Wenger maybe has a cake. Could that be the start of an improbable comeback? It needs to be the spark, doesn't it? It really does, and this is what you want to see more of from Theo Walcott. Gets himself in between defenders, onside, and once he's away, they're not going to catch him. And this is what I think he doesn't maybe get the credit he deserves for sometimes in front of the goal stays calm and it's a really cool calculated finish dinks it over Federici tiny tiny glimmer of can't get across far enough to get enough on it to keep it out that is a wonderful header we've got our three quarters of the way to a famous comeback well Again, Brian McDermott won't be happy with the defending. Kaspers Gorks, it is, challenges, runs under the ball. That leaves Koscielny with a free header. Not going to miss from there. And I just wonder, I wonder. I think the all-important thing now is what is that board that's going to be held up any second by the fourth official going to say? Well, no one's leaving. They've drawn a level right at the death. Wow. When I looked at the assistant referee, I'm sure I saw daylight between the first effort. He did not raise his flag. I was astounded. It doesn't matter now. It doesn't matter now. But long hopeful ball, knocked down. Walcott, that's well over. The assistant referee, unobstructed view, has got to see that. It doesn't matter now, but it could have mattered. That is the big thing. I mean, you've got to see that from where you're standing. Jenkinson follows up. There's a handball in there to boot. 
Reading don't like it because they feel 90, nearly 96 minutes been played. Time should have been up. Marouane Shamak, who has his name up in lights. Oh, looking down at Brian McDermott. Poor Brian McDermott. Just pacing around his technical area. Cannot believe what he's seen. Lovely build up play. Shamak it was that flicked that ball to Giroud and carried on. While Shavin gets it back to Shamak. And how often do you see it? When a shot goes through a defender's legs, goalkeeper unsighted, late reacting, it's in the corner. And Shamak has given his team the lead. And it has this been one of the most remarkable comebacks of all time because it's been a sensational game. Doesn't he just love it? Well, Arsenal arms are in the air, they want offside. They really want offside, they're not going to get it. Morassi were deep cross. Arsenal just let it go all the way to the back post. And as that is struck, well, maybe level. And of course, all that the assistant referee can see is Lauren Koscielny's red shirt. You can't see the two blue shirts behind him. And Pogrebniak following in is the simplest of headers. And it's game on again. How many more shifts and changes are we going to see? Quite remarkable. Goals on a mad night at the Madejski Stadium. And Arsenal having seemingly been down and out once, then take back again by Reading, have surely hit now for the last time. Well, this is about desire, it's about drive, it's about determination. And Lauren Koscielny is the player who starts this off. He's in the middle of your picture there the centre-half, he's busting the gut, as have three, four other Arsenal players to break there, break quickly, and they have punished, and did we say Arshavin may have the last laugh? I think he has, it may have been a goal for Walcott, but Andre Arshavin has torn Reading to pieces for just the one time that was necessary, and Walcott, I think he's just scored the winning goal, what an amazing, amazing game, and even Arsene Wenger, well, he must be stunned by what he's seen here tonight. He As Arsenal claim a seventh, Arsene Wenger heads for the quarter-finals of this competition, and he will wonder, and many others will wonder, how they've got there. Well, pure and simply, absolute and utter drive, determination, character. It is a shame that such a game needed to be clinched on a mistake, a defensive mistake, but Shamak really punishes Chris Gunter. That's a calm calculated finish and what started out as a dream in heaven has turned into a nightmare you have to feel for Brian McDermott here is Ledgerwood one of the most remarkable nights in the history of this competition. Arsenal through to the quarter-finals of the League Cup, but only after being 4-0 down and only after one heck of a struggle here with Reading, a Theo Walcott hat-trick in the end, helping to get them through with the help of a second goal from Marouane Shamak to clinch.